The world faces some serious environmental challenges, including habitat degradation, climate change, and the spread of invasive species. But we wanted to study how these impacts are changing Okinawan environments and use Okinawa as a model island system for the broader challenges facing the world. To do this, we want to set up long-term data observation system across the island so that in 20 or 30 years time, we will have the data to understand how ecosystems are changing. Importantly, we wanted to do this project in collaboration with the people of Okinawa as a way to have OIST contribute to the development of the island and do research that is relevant to people's lives. Okinawa is a small island but houses over 5,000 plant species, nearly 80% of Japan's total. Its forests are home to many endemic birds and animals and provide vital ecosystem services like absorbing carbon. With the Okion team, we are studying the impact of human activities on forest biodiversity to guide conservation efforts in the face of climate change and to help Okinawa preserve its natural treasures for future generations. We use microphones to record the sounds of animals to monitor Okinawa's ecosystems. I aim to understand how species and ecosystems respond to big disturbance events like typhoons and how these responses change across the landscape. I'm asking how who you are and where you live affects your resilience to these typhoons. The aim of the Okion project is to document about the diversity of life form in Okinawa. Uh, with uh, Okion, we are working on uh, building a database of insect species present in Okinawa, and this database will include both pictures and uh, DNA uh, sequences. And the aim is that this database become a, a resources that can be used by Japanese researchers and by, and by foreign researchers. And this database could also be used by the local community in Okinawa. One of my PhD projects at OIST was to document the diversity of ant anatomies in 3D. For that, we use technologies such as machine learning, robots, and a particle accelerator. But that all means nothing without the ants. And here, the Okion sampling, databasing, and specimen preservation was crucial to include Okinawa's ant diversity into the ant scan project. Our research seeks to understand the role of environmental variation on ecological processes such as herbivory, competition, and population spread. We use the Okeon sites as natural laboratories to investigate how the chemical properties of entire plant communities change across Okinawa's landscape in response to factors like land use history, climate conditions, or the evolutionary histories of the plants themselves. The Okeon project is dedicated to continuously sampling ecological data in Okinawa. We maintain 24 field sites on Okinawa's main island, which is location hosting specialized equipment for collecting insect samples, images and videos, and audio recordings. Here we'll discuss some of the equipment we have deployed at our field sites. These are insect slam traps. These are a variation of a malaise trap, which are tent-like structures with a large opening in the bottom to allow insects to fly up into the trap. The tent wall guides the insects to the top where they will fall into a bottle of ethanol and can be preserved until the samples are collected. After collection, our samples are brought back to OIST to be sorted, identified, cataloged, and stored for future research. Next, we have our automated camera traps. These traps are motion activated to be able to record videos in the daylight or in complete darkness with infrared. Each camera is mounted about one meter off the ground and has caught native and invasive animals passing through, foraging, and socializing. These camera traps have sparked an interest in creating machine learning systems to track invasive and protected animals all throughout Japan. We also have Soundscape Passive Acoustic Monitors. Passive Acoustic Monitors were developed to allow researchers to collect animal sounds and natural vocal behaviors without the disruption of human presence. Each recorder is set to record for one minute every 29 minutes, 24 hours a day. The recorders also allow us to track changes in the acoustic environment throughout the year and even through a single day. Through these passive recorders, we can learn about and track changes in the local environment with thousands of hours of recording. The Environmental Science and Informatics section's OCAM project is constantly working with OIST and the broader community to create better access to environmental science and improved understanding of Okinawa's ecology and wildlife. 
Ongoing collection of this data will allow us to track changes to the wildlife populations and ecosystem health over long periods of time. Our work has begun to spread to other regions of Japan and we look forward to more growth and collaboration.